In this video, we'll go over lead code question number 58, length of last word. Given a string, s, consisting of words and spaces, we need to return the length of the last word in the string. For example, if the string was hello world, then the last word is world, which has a length of 5 characters, so we would return 5. However, we also need to be able to handle multiple spaces in a row, as well as leading and trailing spaces. For example, this could be the string, which reads cat in the hat. But notice that there are two leading spaces, a single space here, three spaces here and here, and two trailing spaces. The last word here is hat, so we would return three. Now, one way we could do this is by using the built-in split method to separate all the words. In Python, the split method will split a string based on a character that is given, and put each string segment into an array. If there is no argument given, like in this example, then it just splits the string on any white space. So in this example, the variable array looks like this, where the string has been split on all white spaces, and each word becomes a separate element in an array. We can then just return the length of the last element in the array, and in Python, you can access the last element by using an index of negative one. So the last element in this array is the word hat, so we would return three. Now this works, but in an interview, they will probably ask you not to use any built-in string methods and to implement the function yourself. You can also see that if you had a very long string with a lot of spaces, this would be very inefficient because you're splitting every single word when really you only need the last word. So now let's look at how you can solve this without using the split method. Let's use a new string, which will be a big cat. As you can see, there is one space here, two spaces here, and two more trailing spaces. We're going to start by declaring a variable called length, which is going to hold the length of the last word in the string and initialize it to zero. We'll then use a variable called i to traverse the string and we'll initialize it to the length of the string minus one. So since the length of the string is 12, i will point to index 11 of the string, which is the last character. Then we'll enter a loop that'll traverse backwards in the string until we hit the last word. So we'll check for two things. First, we want to make sure that we haven't gone out of bounds, so we'll make sure i is greater than or equal to zero. Next, we'll check if the character at index i is a space character. Right now, the character at index 11 is a space, so we'll decrement i and move backwards in the string. Then we check again. The character at index 10 is still a space, so let's decrement i again. Now when we check this condition, we see that the character at index 9 is not a space, so that makes this loop condition false so we'll break out of the loop. Now that we know that we've hit the last word of the string, it's time to start counting its length. So this loop will keep iterating and incrementing the count of length as long as the character at index i is not a space. We can see that the character at index nine is indeed not a space. So let's increment length and decrement i. The character at index eight is still not a space. So we'll increment length again and keep moving backwards. The character at index 7 isn't a space either, so let's increment length to 3 and decrement i again. But now when we check this condition, we see that the character at index 6 is a space. That means we finished traversing the word, so we can break out of this loop, and the only thing left to do is to return length, which is 3, since the last word in the string was cat, and the length of cat is 3, and we're done. 